Uh, I can't seem to get on. I don't know why. Okay. Do you have the camera on and the audio? The camera is on. Okay, meeting's being recorded. We're gonna oh, get it. Goes. Come on. All right. So I was gonna say, can I I can zoom in? Okay, so every time somebody says something, the camera turns towards you. Mm -hmm. So it's a takes minutes to get used to. Um, okay, I am on. Oh, God. Do we have anybody remote right now? It's still at 4.57, so we have a few minutes. Do you want to text Jessica? Let me do. Do you want to text her? Yeah. Yeah, see if she's coming. I saw Roberta at the Garden Club Plant Sale, and, or not Roberta, um, <coughs> Betty Moggle. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she said she was going to come to the next one. How's she doing? Good. Okay, I'm on Zoom. Oh, hey, okay. You don't have to be on it. I mean, do you prefer to be on Zoom? Okay, so if you could do that, you have to. Okay. Does that work now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I can turn off my camera. Lower my volume. Okay. Do you need to be on Zoom? Too? Okay, because I mean, you're. For town council, we do it. Because then we can see who's on chat, who's oh, okay. so if someone doesn't catch it, someone yeah. else will. You know what? That said, I just sent her hearts. I have no idea why. Okay, well, that's lovely. And then I do a split screen so I can open stuff and look at it, and then high tech. So I'm you present. can see that is, is uh, Jessica on there. Mm -mm. There is only. Oh, here she's responding. No, I just got here. The owl and me. <laughs> but you joined through the Zoom link, mm -hmm. right? Okay, that's cool. So we know that's the thing to see if it if it's working. Yeah. Thank you. We go through a lot of problems. <laughs> All right. So yeah, she doesn't know. One second. She just got through the door. Okay. <clears throat> I got a thumbs up. So she's okay. Yeah, Roberta wasn't able to come in person, but I think she's coming online. That was my uh, my impression from her email. So we have. We should if uh, if the two of them dialing. Is it like this for all of your meetings? Do you just hold your breath until the uh, meeting time to see if you have a forum? Um, just Jessica. Usually, I've only seen we'll wait till she, a couple of meetings has, like that. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Oh, oh that's okay. what you're interested in. I think you're at home <laughs> trying to. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. I'll, I'll sit over there. That's fine. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen that meme that was like, sorry, I'm late, the traffic was horrible, and the traffic is a patrol line on the drive through It's me. I'm not sure. <laughs> One more for a forum. We need three in person. So um, to make it a, um, what do you call it? Legal, so a, a legal hybrid meeting. How many people do you have on your committee? We have nine on the committee. Oh. Yeah. Wow, so. we're that big? Yeah. Sometimes we have us all. It's been a while. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think when we were doing the all Zoom, we had uh, had everybody a few times. I was on vacation in Bar Harbor and I was in the hotel and zoomed into a meeting. Oh, no thanks. <laughs> That's, we are being recorded right oh, now, too, I'm, by the way. So, so no sorry. Yeah. Okay, got exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, okay, I'm going to text Roberta. I was just wondering if like, people say, say you're in Europe, can you still be a legitimate attendee at a meeting? I, I figured there'd be all kinds of rules and things. Yeah, I think as long as you're coming. My son um, goes to Europe all the time to work and he's in Zoom meetings or WebEx or something. Yeah. But I mean, to make it like a town, to make it a legal quorum, the person. Oh, you're saying I mean, if you physical, move, if you yeah. move somewhere else, you can't. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, but like, I'm still me. It's not like it's a standing. Yeah. Just because I'm. But I just figured there'd be specific and... rules on what yeah. you can and can't do. I think part of yeah, it would just be making sure. Europe, as long as you can zoom in, it still yeah. counts. We could go. Right, I just texted Roberta. See, I can zoom where we have 
Yeah, she's usually here. Yeah, close to um, but she's full. Yeah, she is. She needs to quarantine today, China, so she doesn't want uh, to uh, come Singapore, physically, but I thought she was able Australia. to. Uh, so I was, um, but she also has reverse of sound, so I have no so I was oh, okay. to let yeah. these countries out. Well, it just oh struck and then, But it worked. I had a phone on my way here. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, from the sound of it, I don't think. Her name's Betty, Betty right? Yeah. yeah, I'm really bad with names. Mm -hmm. I don't know that Betty means there's a name. Maybe, maybe, I don't okay. know. Because he was like, oh, I thought the meeting's at six. And I was like, no, that the beautification's okay. at two. And he was like, yeah. Yeah, I saw her at the, uh, the um, Garden Club sale, and she said that uh, she'd be there. Oh, okay. But maybe eventually. I'm just busy. Do you know what this is? I woke up this morning with two red like dots. Well, looks like a vampire bite. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> does it itch? This one does. It's a hive or a bite. You know, I took my, my Zyrtec, so if it was a hive, it would have gone away. Mm -hmm. It didn't. Let me see it. And I would think poison ivy, but I haven't touched anything. No. Although my friends used to get it so bad that it wouldn't be one dot, they would just be covered with it. Never, Never had it in my life. Either. And then I thought maybe shingles, but I looked it up and I thought, yeah, that's not it. You get shingles. <laughs> shingles. Is... Did you get the shot? I did not. I have to. After yeah. I saw this, I thought, oh. <laughs> it, it is one of the two shot or the outfit, isn't it? I had two. I think I had to get to yeah. yeah. The first one I guess wasn't enough, and then they came back yeah. in that second. Yeah, my husband got shingles, and they're like, "You're not supposed to get it when you're in the thirties." We got some connecting. Oh, Roberta! Important, oh. Roberta. Hey. <laughs> we're good to go. All right, we have a quorum now. <laughs> Hi, Roberta. It looks like you're still connecting to audio. We'll give you a moment. Let us know when you can hear us and when you're. Close. Yeah. Just hmm? like, you should have like a beautification dinner and just go out. Don't talk about beautification things. Just have fun. Put it on the agenda. <laughs> no, it's hard though because if we all just hang out, barbecue. if we hang out outside, is it considered an unofficial meeting if we don't talk about beautification things? Probably not. If you don't talk about beautification. Yeah. So right. this just. Okay. How are you doing, Roberta? Are you able to hear us yet? Yes, I am. Welcome aboard. All right. So uh, with that, uh, with your arrival, it looks like we have a quorum, and that might be Carol Christensen driving up right now too. All right. Um, I don't know if you can see who's here, Roberta, but we have uh, me, uh, Jessica, Carol Schneider, and Sheila in the conference room, along with Naomi Rodriguez, who's on the uh, town council. Um, Great. And she's here as a uh, an observer citizen. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. How about that? I guess. <laughs> All right. So it is uh, right now. It is five oh five, and I'm going to call the meeting to order. <clears throat> and you have, uh, you know, who's here, right? <laughs> you have a list of who's here. I have already filled it in. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes <clears throat> from the last meeting? Yes. Okay. Great. And would anybody like to make a motion to approve them? We'll make a motion to approve them. I'll second. That's my that's my job. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Perfect. All right. They are approved. Um, just going through the uh, the agenda in order. Um, under the old business, we have the uh, the banner discussion. So we've been uh, been talking about this one for a while. Um, it looks like we're making some progress. And hey, Carol's here now. Carol uh, Christensen is here now too. Um, so uh, we may have some info from her too. But uh, we got the ARPA funding approved for the brackets. That was the um, American Recovery. American Recovery Plan Act. Plan Act, <laughs> sounds good. I couldn't remember the fee. All right, so um, we looks like we got the funding approved for the brackets. Um, I don't know the mechanism for actually getting that money or what the next step is for that. Um, I can somewhere. find out. Okay, okay thank you. Um, yeah, so I guess we, uh, we Next step is probably to order the brackets once we uh, once we figure out how to uh, how to do that. And um, you all probably saw the emails um, a few weeks ago. Um, Carol Christensen let us know that there was a Rotary grant available, and I put in a, a grant application for that. Do you know when we might hear? Um, we're actually meeting tomorrow to okay. go over the applications. I do know that we've been asked for twice as much money as we have to give. Wow. So okay, I can't you know 
speculate on what they'll decide. But we have to announce it on June 23rd. So you'll know oh, in the next couple of weeks. That would be great. And I've kind of been holding off on well, a lot of stuff with the uh, with the banners until we kind of know whether we need to beg for the money to or whether we just need to um, get the photos for the banners. So I think once we hear about that, we'll have an idea of how much money we need to raise and whether we're going to have to raise the full amount or whether we'll have some subsidy from uh, from that grant. I haven't applied for any other grants. I have not seen any others that were uh, that really would fit the uh, fit the bill for us. But um, I'm hopeful that uh, we might uh, might see something. Um, it does benefit the uh, the town and. Yeah, that's one of the things when we did the uh, the ARPA funding, um, they kind of racked and stacked things based on how it benefits the town and the economic development and all that stuff. We fared pretty well with the bracket requests. So I'm hopeful that, uh, that Rotary will also see that. Uh, that do we know, it's I'm sorry, I don't remember, how much did we ask for? Um, the maximum amount of that grant would be with $1,000. Okay. And it's- That almost covers it. It's yeah, like it's just $100, like $100 more or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're pretty, uh, pretty close. So we'll- uh, We'll see anything, any money's good money. Oh, and yeah. we have the uh, the, um, the breakfast money too in our accounts. So we, um, that's right. We don't have to use that for Jackie Days. Like, no, we do no. the other money. Exactly. Do you yeah. happen to know, Roberta, how much we have in our accounts offhand? I think uh, Christine sent it to everybody, didn't she? I um, think it was before. I don't, I didn't see it recently, okay. but it may have been. Um, I will, I will, if I lose you, I'll come back. Of course, thank I you. Okay. All right. So um, how about after June 23rd, when we hear something possibly about the Rotary Grant, I'll advertise the banner contest and we'll, uh, we'll move on from there at that point. Um, and we'll see whether we need to ask um, citizens for donations. Any, uh, any other talk about banners? All right. Um, next one is the ongoing maintenance of landscaped adopted areas. Um, I've been going back and forth with a, with one landscaping company. Um, I don't know the actual company's name, but I've been dealing with uh, with a guy on the over Facebook Messenger who uh, seems interested in doing the area around the Welcome to Gales Ferry sign um, just past the senior center as you're coming into town, like making some defined edges there. And I asked him to either submit a, a proposal or come to our meeting, um, but haven't heard anything back from him on, uh, on that one. But he seems willing to. Who is, who is that? His name is Jordan Downen. Oh, that's, um, oh my gosh, I know who that is. Hold on. Okay, good. <laughs> Peak Landscaping. Thank you. Right. I, I only know that because I she always tags him when she posts in the business. Okay. Group. Yeah, and he's, he seems very excited about it, but I just haven't gotten a, a follow-up from him. So um, I assume when the time comes, we can, uh, we can probably approve it without too much uh, too much discussion. Um, so no other news on those. Um, Jamie Allen has been maintaining the sign at the base of the uh, library anonymously. Um, just, I just announced that to the town, but she's been uh, been um, maintaining that area. Um, I know exactly. Look at the spelling. Um, but right at the Bill Library sign, she took over the other uh, the planting there, and she's uh, she's been doing a great job keeping up with that. So there's some beautiful flowers there now. And hopefully the other does landscapers. She want, does she want us to do a sign for her business? Maybe? No, she, she has. Doesn't she, want to. Yeah, she's okay. no credit. So okay. that's fine. Oops. Yeah, but she's uh, doing the most of uh, of anybody on her signs right now too. So yeah. hopefully the uh, folks on, and who have adopted the other areas will step up to mm -hmm. and refresh their uh, their plants. Is that you again, Roberta? No. I'm I'm listening. I'm just looking okay. for my email. Sounds good. I wasn't sure if you were trying to say something. No. Nope. Okay. Um, back to um, daffodils. That's the next one on the agenda. Um, everything looked great in the spring. Um, I thought it turned out really well. Um, do any of you gardeners know whether they'll eventually like synchronize? Like we had the old daffodils kind of sprouted different at different times from the new daffodils. So they, like in that they will get, you guys they will get they will get together. Oh, good. Okay. That would be nice. I don't want it always to be like old and new. Well, it was weird because we had planted in front of the police station and then yeah. last year we last year we planted in front of the town hall and then the police stations came up and they're like, why isn't the town hall coming up? And then they started to go and then all of a sudden these all came up. So it was really, yeah. it was weird. But the one by the school, there was tons of them on the hill. Yeah. I didn't see any this year. 
I don't know if they were cut down or something. I don't know. I something I'm trying to think if I saw them. The um, red on root. Yeah, by the yeah. 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 I know like... the ones we planted by um the middle school. Mm -hmm. They came up. And yeah. They were, they were my nice. son loved it. He was like, <laughs> I planted that one. And the wall in the one uh, two. 214 is it the wall outside the school they were they were all they yeah, look really nice yeah. Instead yeah. Of a yeah, stone my husband dumped a bunch of them over there too very nice yeah the, so. a lot of the places look really good so yeah um that's uh, that's good news Roberta that they'll uh, they'll actually synchronize at some point <laughs> that we won't always have <laughs> 2002 we, so I did notice and I noticed this even with daffodil bulbs that were dug up from other people um like the donated ones that were not brand new and then also some of the brand new ones do we think and I don't know, I'm a newer gardener. Do we think that the ones, for example, I planted over 200 bulbs at the sawmill mm -hmm. and I would say about half of them came up. Do we think that they're gonna come up more next year or do you think that they just die? Some may take a year. What's that, Roberta? Some may take a year to come back up. Okay. So that means that the sawmill is probably gonna be nuts next year. All right. Yeah. So in my office. The all the greens came up, but we never got any bulbs. Yeah, I don't understand. It's I... certainly weird. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody said the salt from them, the Ooh. salt from the road, because if no, that well, that isn't going to do it. But they might have. I don't split. know. I'm not a gardener. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Shoot. Told me that. Um, we we put in such nice big bulbs that they might have been an age where they split, and the year that they split, you don't get a flower till. They oh, get okay. more energy again, okay, but you well, can put them by the road. Okay, nice. I'm glad we have an expert on this committee. Yeah, really. yeah you <laughs> so, we could sit here and talk about it all night. The other thing and, I uh, wanted to say was just because I don't know if I ever told you mm -hmm. um, when we were planting, and I had called you and said yeah. that Jamie had said don't plant them where we were going to plant them because the sidewalks were going to go mm -hmm. in. So we started going along the sidewalks between the library and the church. Yes. So we put them around the trees and but we ran out. So we're going to keep doing that. So she, her hope is that like when we do the parade and they have the thing oh, there yeah. that that will be all the way down the walkway. So that that's what it would be. Nice. Do you did you get a good picture of them while they're in bloom so you have an idea of how I, far I did a went. little bit. We okay. know how far we went because okay. we started at the the doors to the back end of the library. Mm -hmm. and went out there and then we did the circle tree here and then another tree here mm -hmm. on that side and then we have to do the rest of it so okay so i have an idea and so we had talked about this sorry this just came up don't mean to derail you or i figured i didn't know if that thought was over i'm sorry um <clears throat> but i have an idea because we talked last meeting about doing daffodils and encouraging people in the town to plant daffodils by their own mailboxes so that everyone has daffodils and it's kind of like a unified town feeling of driving down a street in a neighborhood and seeing all the daffodils at the mailboxes and it's kind of fun um and I think we said like just let people in the town buy their own daffodils and don't give them away to them and things mm -hmm. like that but what if we sold them like what if we bought a bag of 50 yeah and sold five of them for say five bucks or whatever because not everybody needs 50 daffodil bulbs i know i don't need 50 daffodil bulbs but if it's like five dollars you get five daffodil bulbs to put by your mailbox and it's a fundraiser for us so that would be my thought and like huh. even just to like buy them package them ahead of time do take an order on the resource or on our facebook page and things like that and organize a pickup location or something like that because I know I, that's a I, yeah. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be. I'm always the person when I'm on different committees where I, I'm the devil's advocate. And I'm no, like, it's it's I'm good, open to it. I just think that, you know, for two years we've been at the farmer's market saying, can you give us money for daffodils? Can you donate daffodils? And now we're going to turn around and try to sell them back to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, like to me. Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Totally yeah. get it. I'm just like, wait, I'm oh, yeah, just thinking it out loud. Of, sure. Because I also don't want to be, I don't want. To, for us to give them away and have people be like maybe we, we can sell t-shirts at some point or something with yeah the daffodils or something like that. it would be fun if we did a did a contest saying ask everybody to plant them at their mailbox so even if everybody doesn't even if 10 like or 20 percent mm -hmm. and then people start seeing more and more that'll help us with the more and more and i don't think that they ever expected that we were going to help them put them in their own property yeah. but th they're seeing it's coming up on the town properties and going now we want to add the public's homes as well. Yeah, let's that, make it a theme. Yeah. I don't know if anybody got the um, events magazine in the mail today, but I meant to bring it over here. But uh, we got a little today. article in there. But uh, oh, the it's beautiful. The yeah. pictures are great. Thank you. The uh, the article itself, we uh, we say. Uh, Did that come out? 
Yeah, today, I just got it today in the mailbox. Oh. Um, I meant to bring the magazine, but I just took a picture. Um, right but it says if you're, uh, we'll be asking for donations and volunteers again in the fall to plant even more. Um, if you're a business in town and have curb access, please consider planting some daffodil bulbs this fall to complement complement the bulbs in public spaces. We'd love for homeowners to do the same in front of their properties. Yeah. So yeah, perfect. I don't know if I'll read it, but it's, so we got to got something there. And what if we could do stuff. a coupon, and if anybody would do like a, any like say Holger just would let us do a coupon. Yeah, we'll take the coupon and put it in the next book. Oh wow, and that'd be coming out in the fall. Yeah, I'm trying to think. How you do. I'm uh, it's. I'm, I came I'm not from, from that military <laughs> law and what you're able yeah, to do yeah, with yeah. money. And I, it's, it's, this is, these rules are just kind of uh, all kind of fuzzy yeah. as far as fundraising and having money funnel through the well, committee. I, I just mean, don't know how. Even if we ask them to do, say, 5% off bags of daffodils mm -hmm. and just offer it to them, one, it brings business to them. Yeah, for the homeowner to. Yeah, to but, go so the homeowner the goes and buys mm -hmm. it from Holdridge. We get nothing back from it. We're not benefiting in any mm -hmm. way, but we're encouraging people to one plant daffodils mm -hmm. and two buy from a local business. Yeah, so go there like, and say, hey, like yeah. go support a local business mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so economic get, economic development gets some credit for this. Hey, yeah. yeah, all right, yeah, and then so it just they, get, doing a they essentially get like a tiny little free ad space in the. With, with a coupon, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. with so a coupon. for a benefit of getting people and say you give ten percent off daffodil bulbs, and that's all you're giving ten percent off. So I go and I buy a bag of daffodil bulbs, and then I also buy tulip bulbs, and I also buy this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or they could even offer smaller packages, maybe. For yeah. That too. Yeah. Does anybody want to talk to Holdridge? I'll I'll talk to them. Okay. Yeah. See what they'd be willing to do, and we'll yeah. see what, I don't know what the. When the next events magazine would come out, I believe they come out quarterly. Quarter, so, so, if this got to work fast because it's yeah. like months ahead before you. Exactly. Yeah. The deadline well, I mean, comes. the deadline for this one was about a month ago, so we was should have about two months. All right. Um, I think it's July. So, so yeah, they have July to be aware of a coupon right. that gets cut but out. We could, somebody on the reverse side won't be happy about yeah. it. I, I know that for a fact. Okay. <laughs> we can probably. Um, <clears throat> even consider doing one because I want to say there's a July and then like a September. Yeah, so the one September that came out today is probably the June issue, I guess. So mm -hmm. June, yeah, quarter to 2022. Um, so yeah, so whatever the fall, the next one's probably September. Oh, September, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah. probably the one we want to gain. That's when you buy bulbs. Mm -hmm. And if it's going to be too late to put it into the events magazine, we could just advertise that you know, if you want to plan at home. Holders just say go in there and mention the LBC and right. this, yeah. Holders will give you that's it. Yeah, that's it. Off that might be a good idea. Right. So they might not be going for them again. I mean, they gave us a discount last year on them, and if this is them just making more money and mm -hmm. bringing more people into the store at the end of the busy season, like to me as a business owner, I'm like that. That seems like a good idea. Seems like a fair trade. But then again, it's not my business, so I can't say that they'll do it. Oh, anything else about daffodils? All right. Yeah, we'll see. I think we're up to six thousand or so that we have in the ground now. So that's wow. pretty, uh, pretty impressive. That, you know, over the course of, I guess it's been two active years of planting and uh, one year in between COVID. So pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, so uh, general fundraising ideas discussion. Um, I put in an application for the farmers market for the last three <coughs> farmers markets of the season. I don't know how long it takes them to uh, to consider that, but um, Meredith, yes, I did find the um, the uh, report and okay. it says we had a thousand and thirteen dollars, but there wow. should be a hundred less than that for what I spent on the pots. Okay, that's including the four hundred from the breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense. It has just occurred to me that I never moved. Oh, Roberta has the thoughts. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. I got COVID and like a few weeks ago, and it was not fun. Okay, I'm just sure. like, oh, I'm told. Okay, what so is the hundred dollars for Roberta? I'm sorry, pots, huh? Pots. Yeah, we pots. voted. Thank we voted for up to a hundred, and Plant the pots. Okay, yeah, the piece that I have to find out more information or beautification has to find out more information. Um, the feedback I got was we could only get a purchase order to use at Holdridge where we had an account. Now, I don't know if that's so or not, but 
I could have saved money if I could have gone somewhere else and then just got reimbursed. So does anybody have any clue on that? I don't know. Do you, do you know about that, Naomi? But, uh, um, so we, uh, when we um, authorized funding for buying more plants for the planters, um, we ended up having to buy them at Holdridge because we had a purchase order through there. Um, but Roberta could have gotten them for less at another location. Do you have any idea how All to- All I can uh, say is to speak to Matt Bowman, the okay. director of finance, okay. and um, take it from there. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah, that's a, because didn't we buy some of the bulbs at BJ's the one year? Yeah, we got some from Costco. Yeah, I think yeah, Costco, no, I think people just went and bought them individually. I don't think we used the purchase order to no. buy them at Costco. So we can do it and be reimbursed. I would talk to Matt Bowman first yeah. and then talk about the invoices. Yeah, I think people just went there and bought them on their own rather than having any money go through the committee. Oh, order they just them. donated the bulbs. Okay, yes, gotcha. exactly. I thought we did the ones that we bought. One time we didn't buy them at Holdridge. Yeah, I mean, I, th I know we considered that, but I know I went to Costco that week and there was so like five packs of lunch or something yeah. like that. So I bought them all for myself. Yeah. Or no, no, it's just a year before that, though, we had somewhere else. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't not know. that I can recall. Um, Maybe we were almost always going to. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I think I think it always it ends up being, I guess, more than a friendly. We have to go early on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, all righty then. So yeah, so the farmer's market, we'll see what happens there. Any other fundraising ideas or anything like that? What are you doing at the farmer's market? Um, we have asked for a table at the community table at the farmer's market for the last three um, markets of the season. Okay. We've done that for donations two years. For um, and we asked for money and, uh, and or bulbs. And uh, that's where we've gotten the bulk of our daffodil money from. And um, with nine hundred dollars in the in the account right now, um, that should cover a good chunk of the banners too. So that would be a, that'd be nice, depending on whether we get anything from Rotary or not. So we uh, we're probably doing all right right now, depending on what else we want to spend money on. So. All righty. Um, so um, item five is discussion and possible vote to approve allocating funds for buying new banners. Um, so right now we don't know how much we will have to spend on the banners. We know they're gonna cost, I think like 11 or 1200 bucks. I don't have the number in front of me. Um, our next meeting isn't going to be till early October. So if we want to authorize the funding for the banners, we should probably talk about that today. Um, and what we may be able to do is um, worded in such a way that when we have the money in hand, we are authorized to buy them and not authorize us today to buy them. So right. um, I don't know if there's a specific way we can probably work on that, but let me, you guys talk amongst yourselves while I try to find the actual dollar amount of the, uh, of the banners. Yes, I have anything to say. So. We might be able to word it like we did for the pots, where we said mm -hmm. up to. The next one. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. So we have um, each 24 by 36 inch double sided mesh banner with reinforced hems and pull pockets will be $75 each plus shipping. So 75 times, we have 14 of them. Is anybody able to do any math while we're here? And um, I have the shipping total. It's 1,050. Thank you. All right, and then. Um, plus shipping or tax? Yeah, I have the shipping. We shouldn't no have to pay tax, right? Okay. No. <laughs> And I'm trying to find, we have a shipping. So is there a possibility that the shipping will go up because of gas prices going up? Because a lot of places are changing their shipping prices. It's possible I'm, the banner price will go up. Yeah, right. I'm, ju I'm just concerned that we're going to say 
you know, we authorize up to $1,300 and then the banners end up being $1,450 and then we're yeah. going to be like, well, now we got to wait till October no matter what. Yeah. So, so uh, okay, here's the shipping info. For ground shipping for the brackets would be $135, which should be included in the cost in, in what we was what was already approved for the brackets. Um, and then for the banners, the uh, the shipping would be $75. So essentially 15 banners would be. 15 banners? Well, no, no, we were writing 14, 14 banners, banners at $75 a piece. So okay. the $75 is essentially the cost of one, uh, one more banner. So, so it's 1125 Okay. Um, let's go up just in case. Yeah, so let's uh, say add another 10%. Uh, so it's 11 25 So I'd say up to like 12 50 Okay. Would, uh, okay. So how about, um, am I able to make a motion or do I have somebody else have to make a motion? It's you can't make a motion. You can okay, entertain. Okay. Can somebody <laughs> entertain a motion? Okay. So and I would go a little bit higher. Okay. So okay. You more than 10% higher than I would probably go to the 1300. Okay. All right. So well, um, yeah. I make a motion to do a maximum of 1300 for the what? Um, banners and shipping. When when we have the money. Banners and shipping. Once banners we have the money in hand. Right. Okay. You said 13. Yeah. 1300. I'll second. Okay, so we have a motion to approve up to $1,300 in funding for the banners when we have the funding available. And Carol Schneider has made the motion. Jessica has seconded it. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 That's good. Okay, we've got the Roberta raising her hand as well. So we got the six of us in favor. All right, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll Pursue that when uh, when it seems right to pursue it. Um, but I'll, uh, um, I guess once we hear from Rotary and we have an idea of whether we're paying it all ourselves or whether we need to ask for others to uh, to help I out. I will with. ask if we if we approve tomorrow night. I will ask them if I can let you know ahead of time, just because of the timing on things. Thanks. Yeah, I, I don't want to be <laughs> presumptuous or or pushy, which, uh, whichever work, whatever works for you. So thank you. Um, all right. Anything else about banners? When do we want to open up the photo contest? Um, These are the banners with the photos, right? Yeah, saying. yeah. I just want to be able to explain to them if they needed any yeah. more, like what banners, because there's banners up right now. Exactly. So they'll be like, what banners? I'm like, okay, that's the photo contest. Yeah, I, I described them in, in here about like what the previous banner themes were. So uh, we'll see. But uh, how about once we have an idea of what's, how, okay. how we're going to fund them, then we'll open up the photo contest. Okay, right. cool. Um, Alrighty, so Earth Day cleanup, that's the next one. Um, well, we, we did our best. Um, <laughs> made, uh, made some Facebook events, advertised it, got all the parts and, and, uh, and stuff to us, Parks and Rec, and let's say there wasn't a whole lot of interest. But uh, next year, what we need to do is um, plan ahead and have it um, ask Scara for the um, supplies and during the month of April. I think that's when people are thinking about Earth Day. That's when they want to do cleanup. Um, I mean, it didn't cost us anything to, uh, to Oh, put on the uh, put on the event, but yeah, it, it's just that uh, people want to clean up the earth on Earth Day, and that is all. So, um, and unfortunately, well, another town had it. I think it was very difficult because Earth Day fell during spring break. It so, always does. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. Feel, sometimes I feel like it's like not. Mm -hmm. It's like the week before or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then this year, when it was in spring break, I was like, well, I'm not even in the state. Like mm -hmm. I'm traveling or whatever. So it was very. It's very difficult. To I think they want to participate as a group too. It's like yeah. doing it individually is like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I think last year we did get a decent amount of people just, you know, showing up, getting their stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I just, I posted about it a bunch of times and I just could not get any traction on any of the, uh, any of the. I mean, if we posts. saw a really bad part of town, I think yeah. everybody would come out in numbers. Um, I, but it's nothing's really that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And private properties are, but yeah. And that's. Doing. I mean, I can't be like everybody needed this person's front yard. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. No, no. Time to clean up front yard. <laughs> yeah. We did a cleanup. Good advertising for that. I'm going to say over 20 years ago, mm -hmm. I've been in town for 35 yeah. years, but this is when I did scout. We did a town wide cleanup. This was before we were so concerned about everything picking up certain things and whatever. Mm -hmm. But we had a town wide cleanup, and then everybody had their areas, kind of like what we did a few years ago. 
And then we had, everybody went to Blonders after, brought the bags, and then we had a contest to see who guessed how many bags of garbage that we collected. Oh, yeah. And then Crandall came and picked it all up afterwards. And we had like a picnic there for everybody that, it was, it was really nice. It's neat. So. Yeah, I like that. I mean, if we do a more of like a town-wide event thing, because mm -hmm. I mean, a couple of years ago was who's going to be the, the the subdivision captain? Right. Yeah. That was so it was more of a like a contest type mm -hmm. of a thing. But I think the last couple of years we haven't had the traction to do mm -hmm. that. We did our to park, but we can buy trash. Like you can do beautification. You can do community um, uh, re CRC community. Oh, validation. No community. Uh, it's a committee right now. I don't know. I'm sorry. CRC, Community Relations Committee. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then you deal with town councilors. You can do the political parties. Yeah. You know, you can just do a town wide event. Conservation. Mm -hmm. That could really work. We yeah. gotta do it. Which committee could collect the most? Yeah. yeah. And you can really do it. So go to find where I participate. But start getting the word out mm -hmm. months and months. Yes. And the Rotary, we do four town wide cleanups a year. Okay. And we made a stupid. It is stupid. Mm. It's a trophy uh -huh. and it has, I don't know, it says roadkill. It says something else on it. Mm -hmm. And every time we do one, we pick somebody who found the most unique or sometimes the most disgusting mm. or something <laughs> thing on the, and then they mm. get to get the trophy until the next time. Oh, and so then we do the next one, the next person they award it and it moves around. I like it. So we do something like yeah, that. Yeah, you guys do a lot of cleanups, really. Hard ones, I think, on the highways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds uh, sounds good. Yeah, let's plan ahead for that. Maybe at the October meeting, talk about how we'll, how we'll do that next April. If you don't want to plant daffodils, then you got to clean. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So <laughs> then we get everybody other. to do Choose your weapon. <laughs> I like it. Well, so the uh, the pots. Roberta, would you like to talk about the pots? Yeah, I went and got them at Senior Center. And thank you thought that I would plant them and be done with it really quick. And I could barely get my um, shovel in the pots. The roots from the Dracaena totally filled the pots. So mm -hmm. I took everything out. So they have all new dirt. And I did go get the plants at Holdridge. And um, I put them out Sunday. We like to put them out when nobody's there because otherwise okay. everybody's telling you how to put them out. So <laughs> uh, I think the next thing we need to do is devise a watering schedule like we did last mm -hmm. year so that people take different weeks to pay attention to them. Yeah, I mean, last year we, we started doing that and then we ended up going to the mayor and he, uh, he said that they would take care of it yeah. at town hall and the police would take care of it as well. So, so, I mean, maybe I could just send them an email just to say, hey, plants are out there. Can you guys take care of them again? Yeah, but I think we really do have to follow it up because if they don't, hmm. they won't make it where it's so hot and dry. The only yeah. one I know that will do fine is at the annex because Roxanne waters that one. Okay. But um, the others would need water at least once a week, if not twice, if we get no rain. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going <laughs> to throw it out there. I didn't mind watering, but I was going to try Yeah, to I'm not going to, you know, I live on Gill Ferry. Summers are busy. I'm not going to haul water. There's something that there feels over here when there's people in those buildings that can do it. I, you know, I did it one time last year, and there's something yeah, that feels criminal time. about it. Like <laughs> it feels like you're a total weirdo getting out of your car with <laughs> milk water. jugs and then watering plants in front of the building. When I'm like, especially the police station. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm waiting for them to come outside and be like, "Excuse me, ma'am." Yeah, when I when I went in there last year, because they said that they wanted some jugs or something like that. If they want, if when a when the mayor contacted them and they wanted some jugs. So I went to drop off the jugs and they're like, oh yeah, we've been doing this. We've been watering them. So oh, I don't know. It, it may be one of those things where it's like the neighborhood stray cat that everybody's feeding it and everybody thinks <laughs> it's their own stray cat. I don't, I don't think I, uh, Roberta, did you, when you were talking about the pots, did you say they were at the, the new ones you put in were at the senior center? No, no, they're all oh, out the storage. All the PD and the annex. Oh, okay, I got you. All right. 
So uh, we're still other... talking about just the pots in front of the police department. Police and, uh, yeah. And I guess uh, my next yeah. suggestion is that we send a note, a thank you note to the secretary at the senior center for taking care of them all winter. Okay, was that Monica? Um, yes. Okay. I mean, it makes our pots last longer, even yeah. if the plants don't do well, just not being in the weather is important for the pots. Yeah. yeah. So it does help us out a lot that they let us put them there in their atrium. Okay, I can, I can get a thank you note to them. That, that, that's, that's easy enough. They've been very good partners with us. Yes. They, they held, they keep our pots, they they held all the supplies for the Earth Day. Um, That's a nice little greenhouse in that yeah. entrance way at the senior <laughs> yep. center. Yeah, so last year when I asked the mayor to, uh, mayor and chief Rich to uh, to do the uh, the watering, they came back right away and said, yeah, we'll do what we've done in the past. And we're uh, okay. happy to make it happen. So should we, I'll, should we ask him again? Yeah, yeah okay. I'll do it again. Just let him know, hey, the pots are out there. We have brand new plants and uh, can you do that again? So I can't imagine we'll get any pushback, but yeah, we, uh, they can take care of that. We don't need uh, the, all of us on the committee dealing with it. But I appreciate you, uh, you, you doing it, Roberta. So thank you, thank you for making that happen. And uh, I'm looking forward to having a look at them once I uh, once I leave here. Uh, I forgot to take a picture. So if you want a picture of, you know, if we, I didn't know if it was worth it if we could get any publicity on beautification, put pots out at PD in the town hall, please. Mm -hmm. You know, because we don't do picture. enough things to get a lot of publicity, and that might be one more. Yeah, uh, that's that makes sense. I have to kill a little time before I go over to the high school after this, so I'll, uh, I'll go take do some you, pictures. Do you <laughs> think we could make like a little cute, small sign that sticks in the pot that says like you know something about Ledger Beautification Committee, just to like highlight, even if it's just little, yeah, something for fun of like. She's like, keep Ledger beautiful or something silly. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. That's I don't know. Just something that like shows that we're awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, maybe it. even maybe even by the next events magazine, if we just had a blurb in there that with the pots are out and beautification, you know, this is one of their projects or something. Then maybe in another two or three weeks, the pots would even look better because they would have grown a little bit more. Yeah. So I don't know, but I just think that we, what we do, we do with no financial backing. So I think we deserve some credit for uh, using what we have to our best, uh, for our best resources. Do they need fertilizer? I fertilized them before I took them. And usually what I do is do a uh, folia. I have a little spray thing and I'll, I'll carry it around and spray the leaves again okay. very diluted so that they don't get burned nice okay so nothing nothing besides water for the summer for okay. them yeah okay. that sounds good so once they're only really week. there about four months right yeah that sounds that sounds good i'm looking forward to uh to seeing what seeing what they look like appreciate you doing that you are awesome yes i love her. Uh, I love your gardening skills. That's right. <laughs> All right, um, and that's uh, that's everything we actually have on the agenda. Is there any other old business to come yeah. before the committee? Something, Naomi. Okay, so you asked a question about the ARPA funds and yes. how you get them. Okay, Bill Sam says I think they just request them from Matt Bowman, who's okay. a finance director, then submit the invoice. I believe Steve Maslin will already be on that, so I don't know what he means about that, but I will give you Steve Maslin's. I, I have that. Okay. He was the one that quoted he, to Bill. Yeah, he got the quote. So he may have actually ordered them already. I'll, I'll check with so, him. So yeah, double check with him. Yeah. Okay. So check. What did what? Yeah, I America. I kind of want to do that. What's the PA plan? This yeah. guy's have to okay. do it, so he wants to make sure he get the right one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. that. So I was happy for him. And do you need Matt Bowman's phone number? Oh uh, yeah. Why don't we? Why don't you address that, please? Well, I don't know if I have a Is it Bowman? B O N I N. Oh, Bowman. Okay. Is he new? Mm -hmm. Okay, he took over for Marsha. Oh, he's too new. Hold on. Okay. 
I guess our other meeting. Oh, 464. Three, two, three, five. Two, three, five. Okay. I will check with Steve Maslin tomorrow to see if he's already ordered them or where what where things stand with the uh, with the brackets. And uh, if he has, and I'll tell him we have the authorization to do so, and we'll figure it out from there. Um, let's see. So request the ARPA funds from Matt Bonin if they haven't already done so. If they haven't already done so. Um, I didn't realize that he had replaced uh, Masha Hancock. So when I went with the money from the breakfast, I <laughs> was pointed to his office and um, he said, I really appreciate that you brought me the money hand to hand because previously some people have left money in the cubbies in the front Lord. office. <laughs> so I'm just passing it along that he really prefers you to just hand him funds, not leave them anywhere. Uh, he was most appreciative of that. So, nice. $4,000. Yeah, that seems yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Any other uh, old business? Do I have anything to add? Um, uh, as far as the new business, um, just uh, heads up, my uh, my term expires in October, and I do not intend to uh, to stick, stick around as the, uh, as the chair. So if anybody would like to think about uh, think about taking over, um, that would be lovely. But, uh, eye contact but I've been I've uh, been here since the uh, the beginning of the committee. I've, I've enjoyed my time here. Um, enjoyed the projects we've put together. But it's probably time for somebody else with a, a little bit more uh, momentum and and uh, have with some new ideas to 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 take over. So just uh, throwing that out there. If this is a clue, everyone should show up at the next meetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meredith, um, a question. Yes. Since most um, participants in this committee were um, appointed by some other thing they belong to? Yeah. Uh, do we go back to those same other bodies and say we'd like another representative? Yeah, I'm not sure what happens at this point. Um, I The committee I came from was the town center committee, which is now defunct. Um, and yeah, I, don't, I, I think like we got... I think Sheila, you were just a member at large, right? I mean, yeah. you came from. A... And I think my term expires around Meredith's. I'm going to check with Roxanne. I'm pretty and sure I'm, um, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm I probably going to stay a member, but I'm not I'm going to continue being the secretary. I'm going to share the wealth, guys. Oh, you're so good cool. <laughs> <laughs> at Meredith, are you staying on the committee? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see yeah. what the. What what volunteers we get um but yeah I'll, I'll figure out what we need to do to solicit new committee members um so if nobody and, does it do can we can we can more people join the committee or are we we can only have nine? i don't know if we're limited to to nine i was um, never sure i don't know i'll have to talk to Andrew but then you have to see. have a higher amount for a farm, exactly so yeah need a commitment from the members to come to meetings yeah i mean in the beginning there were a lot more other commissions and groups represented, and one by one they've fallen to right. the wayside. So um, I really think to get enough people to participate is going to have to be some kind of a push to those other committees to send a representative or some other way to generate interest. It was like anything. I, Linda just asked me if I wanted to do it. And I, yeah. I said, this would be fun. Do this it. was my first one, and now look at you. Three. It's a gateway committee. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> only has president. Nine. nine. <laughs> but you didn't come nine 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 by town no. council. No, so. no you want to join. Right. So, uh, yeah. said, we'll join this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have nine committee members, and they're appointed by town council. That's what Naomi just said. So you can't get anyone else unless somebody steps down. Okay. So. So I will. Then I will. I will step out altogether in order to allow somebody else to. Kind of, that's we don't have yeah. Or yeah. Have a, yeah. A, a smaller committee. Yeah, exactly. We'll figure it out. Does anyway, anybody do? Does anybody want to do it? No. That's why I said everyone needs to show up for the next few meetings. <laughs> but do, you, do you want to do no. either one? Okay. Um, no, I don't want to be in a leadership role. Okay. Yeah, I have other. <laughs> we'll figure out what the. What to do but anyway think about if you know of anybody who would be a good candidate to do this um and want to recruit them we, uh, we could probably uh find a way to uh, to make it happen 
Easy just standing outside. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got a good 12 minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Is there so anything else anybody would like to talk about? <laughs> I think we're all good. Can I motion to adjourn? How about a motion to adjourn then? I'm motion. I'm motion. All right. The first one. It's uh, it is 5:47 and the meeting is adjourned. Second. Um, oh, Carol. Chris Fox. Carol. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Roberta. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, take care. Bye, Roberta. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Five o'clock. I'm coming up with a couple of You were dead when I came in. DED. You did die. Heavy, and don't be surprised your couple of not You didn't have beans? I'm gonna have it later. Right now. I'm gonna eat the hot dog first. Thank you. 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 Thank Streaming on Don't always strike the biggest targets. So help safeguard your small business with Comcast Business Security Edge. This advanced security continuously scans for threats and helps protect every connected device. The choice is clear. Get unbeatable business solutions from the most innovative company. So you can be ready for what's next. Well, Take the top off. You should never sign anything the insurance company gives you without talking to us first. 
Don't get hurt twice. Before you talk to the insurance company, talk to us. <coughs> Call Trantola with Trantola and let our family help your family. <laughs> Maybe you use a cozy arm back at the good speed. Leave your troubles at the door and come to the cabaret. Playing at the good speed in East Saturday. 860-873-8668 It's the 100th anniversary of the beloved Mystic River Bastille Bridge. Download the Go Mystic app for celebration details, including fireworks on the Mystic River presented by Foxwoods. Plus, Mystic Chamber events in and around Mystic. Download the Go Mystic app. I'm not going anywhere. You kidding? There's work to be done. Goats don't milk themselves, you know. When I have cancer,
a state tourism ad promoting marijuana. The video that has some criticizing Governor Newsom. Thinking about updating that outdated bathroom shower, I have some exciting news to share. I'm Chris from New York Market. This at New Pro, we've replaced thousands of bathtubs and showers. A fortune and a dog has little every day. Just when you think it couldn't get better, it does. We are excited to introduce a brand new exclusive collection of wall flowers <clears throat> called the Impression Series. This exclusive series. I'm going to take those bird out. Bird feet is out, I think. Mm -hmm. What about the one in the back? I'm going to leave that in there to the area garden. No, we'll stand it under the porch. How much is there? I don't want any more. I couldn't believe it when Linda told me her daughter and son-in-law got COVID while they were in Singapore. They're really lucky they got home the way they did. Yep. Yep. I guess Singapore doesn't care if you leave when you have COVID. They just don't want to let you in. Maybe, maybe how it works then, yeah. But they made sure they had a test and nobody even asked them for the information. Mm -hmm. They did have to wear a mask on their plane, though. They yeah, say that the whole time. So that's even really changed now. On one of those CDC sites I was on, somebody said they had. Um, Tested positive while they were somewhere. And now they won't let them leave until they get a negative thing, but they can't just show up and have a negative test. They have to have these forms that say they have the right kind of test. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could be there for. Especially if that take a test like Ross told me about. But yeah. You could stay positive for a long time. Yeah.
We need a new jar of ketchup. I think there is one in there. Yeah. Maybe I can put what's in that one into the other one. I only do one instead of two. I probably should take my gas cans over and fill them up. Yes. Well, it's five dollars a gallon. So next week or next month, when I go to fill it, we sell like fifty a gallon. Yep. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Saving money, the name of the game right now. Before you fill up, check out the Pump Patrol on the Channel 3 app. There we have a real time list of the least expensive gas around. Well, with a little breezy out there this evening, as we talk about the early warning system right now, uh, they could be watching some words of change on our doorstep. Yes. Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon is in the Early Warning Weather Center with an hour by hour look at when that rain could be affecting us. Mark? Yeah, that's something we went today bringing in some higher humidity. Chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is looking into the story this right now. Yeah, 
Mark, what you just saw was a snippet from a video the governor Lamont posted to his official Twitter account over the weekend. The governor's team is classifying this as a tourism video, not a campaign video. It's called First Ever Connecticut Country Song. Take another one. Back to So let's freeze it right here. The complaint stems from two things. You see the marijuana leaf and then the lyrics think it's cool to smoke some pot. In his complaint to the Attorney General, Stefanowski cites a general statute which says promoting the use of marijuana over social media is prohibited unless there is proof that at least 90% of the audience can reasonably be expected to be 21 years of age and older. Again, this is posted to Twitter where users need to be 13 or older to have an account. We asked Attorney General Tom directly if this social media post is a violation and if he will indeed investigate. He told us Stefanowski's request was, quote, inappropriate and unethical, going on to say, quote, I will not allow my office and our investigative authority to be weaponized by a political campaign. Attorney General, I recommend the governor in a proposed campaign without regard to the governor's party affiliation. Or Mr. Stefanowski, the governor, I would take the same position as I do now. We reached out to the local experts and it was five different Connecticut universities, and none of them wanted to touch this. So we asked Carol LeBone for her insight. She was a former cannabis regulator in Denver and specializes in cannabis law, regulation, and compliance. I think the governor Lamont probably used poor judgment in his choice of words, especially with the word cool being in the list. Um, but I do not think that he broke any of the cannabis advertising laws. Um, I think there's a distinction between the word advertising and promotion. Now, Governor Lawrence's campaign responded calling Stefanowski's claim a lie, saying the song never encouraged kids to smoke pot. Live here in studio, Matthew Campbell. Thank you. Still ahead for you right here at six. Tax cuts on the table yet again at the state level. What needs to happen to make them a reality? And West Hartford set to reveal brand new mascot names tonight. We are live for the unveiling. And let's head outside right now for a live look over the capital city on this Tuesday night. Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon is tracking more than one chance for rain in our early morning forecast. <laughs> Susan Jules and 
then go into their condo or their part. Well, we knew they did that. Short-sighted yeah. and large. Yeah. Ideas on I didn't know they did it while we were here. Did. We don't even hear the name mentioned anymore. I don't know anyhow. Oh, I. One thing that uh, happened yesterday, and I don't know where you were or what it is. I think I had said to you that it was Barbara and Neil's anniversary. And we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. You, you could have, and I didn't hear it. Anyhow, I sent them an email and I said, I hope I have the date right. Um, you know, but happy anniversary, wishing you would find me correct. Right. So I sent it to Barbara and Neil. Neil came back and said, You got it right. And this year is 35. Which is why I thought they were supposed to take this trip because she had her surgery. They might have been taken anyhow. Right. So, who was it that just celebrated 40? Just I came up. Yeah, we just talked about this. Mac and Foster. Mac and Foster did 40, and um, Nancy and Ed Rasmussen are doing 50, and so Barbara and Neil are 35. He sent me a note, guys, who lunch. We used to do it, and then we right. hadn't had it in months. Well, COVID and then Barbara. Plus, Ed's accent. How about we go to Subvax next week? <coughs> He's got a guy he wants to bring with him. The guy's on a subvet, but his father was a subvet. And guess what? The five I haven't heard anything about the season. You didn't come to. She didn't come to the plane. She didn't come to the high school graduation. Yes. The grandson. Of no, her granddaughter graduated from college. Oh, okay. Her granddaughter is the same age as Julia. Okay. And if Julia would have. She did graduate. That's, right. that, that's how you knew that. Okay. Well, when people were posting pictures they took from the plant sale, Susan said, the first one I've missed in 20 years, but grandchild graduation comes first yeah, or something. Right. But she was there Friday. Oh, was she? she helped set up. Okay. Because you said, oh, there she is loud now. Oh, yeah. Okay. She was on the other yeah. side. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. Um, but I believe Susan is much more uh, particular about maintaining friendship with Betty. Now that Lindy's not president, there's a different focus here. And not being here in the winter, she gave up specifically, I believe, lots of things, using that as an excuse. Oh, I won't be here. I won't be here. That's fine. Absolutely. The Southwest Connecticut. And this is just the beginning. On off showers with us this evening, tonight, and early tomorrow morning. There's more substantial rounds coming. But see, she doesn't. She did work on the annual table again, but if she wants to buy anything wholesale, she'll go with Betty. And Betty buys all the plants to do the pots at Mosley. And last year, that's what season did. 
There's always a motor as soon as we can tell. There have been between 70 and 75 up and down 91 and from the upper 60s to low 70s along the 95 corridor. We've got that southerly wind today bringing in some uh, higher levels of dew point. That means uh, Fort Collins felt that moodiness out there and that's uh, helping. And they uh, pick grapes. The showers, they uh, move across the United States. You know, uh, um, right mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because then Mowgli has a pizza party or something afterward, right? Anything like that. All of a sudden, the way you can see how they extend back across Pennsylvania. Well, they've been going there for a long time. Yeah, only when they have the and Dan are out there. Yeah, they have been going there for a long time. Yeah, only when they have the 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 Yeah, only when But then, knowing Linda and Dan were moved, moving, all of a sudden, she moved into Linda's place, taking Betty to places. Swings in our direction, bringing a more substantial round of rain tomorrow night. So here's future cash flow. Just on off showers. She had a this perfect opening. Because nobody was going to replace Linda while Linda was here. Right. You know? As we get toward the Wednesday morning, the duration of winding down the clearing by the afternoon, the temperatures popping up tomorrow. In the low 80s, and then upper 70s near 80 along the 95. Tomorrow evening, quiet weather. But as we head to Thursday morning, 6 a.m., well, that was nice of um, Jan to say we could ask for test kits if we needed it. So I don't get one tomorrow, tomorrow Wednesday. I might go ask for four. Well, we have two. Oh, then I can take one by Wednesday or Thursday. Well, and then I'll tell Frank I'm clear or I'm not clear. Right. He's all cranked up because he can't get his test kits. I don't know what he's going to do. He might want to say, Split it for a few months and then decide the summer. Back and do it in September. You know, we've covered every time you delay the price of gas is up. $8 a gallon now, probably higher today, $10, $9. And he might have to really get proficient at some things he's not going to stay with it. Whatever. He wasn't worried in the winter. He shouldn't be worried nope. now. Nope. He had every chance this whole winter to get it he done. He could have been done. Yeah. <laughs> That's one place I would think you could get a direct. Yeah. Because yeah. it's such a big front, you know. It's, it's, it's one of the good that up in the world. And it's that much closer to Singapore than you think? Kennedy or LaGuardia or Newark or Boston? Definitely doable on this one. I think it is. Maybe not. I didn't know if. So long iron, even for some of them, you may see a high If it went right over the top. Yeah. Just in the top. That's how they go, the top. Because then, who knows what the Russian embargo can do? You heard me so, they wouldn't let the, the Russian uh, got mold speaks for Putin. Represent the United States and everything. He was going to go to one of those uh, Russian satellite countries. And they didn't let him go to uh, Estonia or something like that. This year that is coming, as Justin announced, he's resigning from the PGA Tour and will instead join a different series that is a new league funded by Saudi Arabia and put together to compete with the PGA. Good for them. 
The CBS Evening News is coming up in just minutes. And here's Laura O'Donnell with a look at some of the. They're glad they're in NATO. Yep. Good evening, Mark and Aaron. Yeah, busy news day here in Washington. And as a NATO nation, why would they want to be nice to Russia? That's it. Matthew McConaughey pleads for real change and responsible gun control measures from the White House podium. And the heartbreaking item that he brought to remember one of the slain students at the school. Plus, gas prices hit five dollars a gallon in thirteen states. The surprising news. Maybe tomorrow, right on the film, there's going to be gas cans. And we're going to end tonight with a heartwarming story about the trouble everybody had with the pets and their senior companions. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. I feel refreshed because I'm not struggling with CPAP anymore. She looks great. I got inspired. So we got nothing ahead of us now. No. I can't think of anything in here. Nope. Did you send a note to Nancy Rasmussen? Yep. Okay, Julie's birthday is Thursday. You, Sylvia, estimated tax on Monday. Bernie Morning, Dr. Benz next Thursday. Two, five, three, four. Frank Falk. Hello. Hello. Hello, Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, Frank. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm feeling good. I just talked with Roberta. I was thinking of taking the COVID test uh, Thursday or Friday. Thursday. Make sure I'm, you know, at least it says I'm clear. Okay. Okay. What did you find out? Anything? Or what, I was thinking we got to come up with a long range plan here. You know, uh, there's nobody around anymore, and that I, and I got to thinking about because I'm, I mean, it went from he went he moved the whole three weeks, a month or something. Uh, in in a few days, you spoke to him. Yeah, I can't do that. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know how many. I, I, you, you saw me. You know, the, he's only allowed to do two a week, or two a day, two a day. And I don't know how many days he does that. Uh, he, I don't know. He's a good uh, friend of uh, uh, Steve Kelly and and, and Doc Berkman, uh, Gary Berkman. There, I think he's. I, I think he's a good friend. He's, I, I, they know him anyhow. I don't know him, you know. I, Ron. Ron. I wonder who that is. Ron. Ron. See, there was a guy, Coastal, had, this is a little interesting. Coastal had their own guy, and, and he got in a pissing contest with the feds, and they fired him. And and and, and then there was another guy. He he quit. He got in a pissing contest with him, and he quit. He, and and the guy I used to use, uh, open rock two guys in Rock Island. I used one. They 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 just he just got old. Maybe you're too old to do this anymore. And the other guy said, I'm not putting up with your bullshit. And he went back to flying jets. 
And uh, and the story goes on and on because they they are difficult for whatever reason. I I I found it interesting because I started searching the net and I went down and I looked. Uh, I don't know all the designators for it's called the um, 